Thank you, our CEO. It's our CEO's birthday. I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh guys, sorry for you. Yeah. 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 He said we don't have no, no, no. no, no. no, office. No, no. I'm saying she can not leave me out. Uh, see, I can say this because I've been, a, I've been a small business owner and I have done this. I am the CEO. Mm -hmm. I am the one. Okay. Who everyone and welcome to episode two of the curiosity podcast in case you've forgotten me even though i know you haven't <laughs> my name is any and of course with me i have today angie here guys hi i'm so happy to have you guys here today on this episode now we have a really really exciting treat for you we have invited someone very special someone very fashionable so a good body a very good body as i like to call her she's so beautiful like i can't even keep my excitement within myself to introduce this amazing person to you so without further ado let's invite Ungazi. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me. My name is Ungazi. I'm an entrepreneur and also a brand manager. Thank you guys. Isn't she just so I'm lovely? excited to be here. <laughs> she a gem? Oh, yeah, she so was. cute. Anyways. <laughs> so Ungazi is our very, very first guest on the Curiosity Podcast. So rest and show are going to bring in so many important educate educative people on our show that is they're going to share their wealth of knowledge with you and for our very first topic that we have because this time not the last time we're just talking mm -hmm. right but this time we are actually going to talk about something something very important i feel everybody has been touched yeah by this particular topic one way or the other in their lives you know mm -hmm. it goes by so many ways what i ordered versus what i got mm -hmm. it can be one where your your favorite vendor you realize is also just getting some materials from i don't want to mention any house shop <laughs> but yeah so <laughs> so what? without further ado we're talking about fake life yeah fake faking life. it till you make it so if you're a nigerian if you use social media mm -hmm. there is there's no way you've not heard of the 10th thing like because it's just if our users is really a bit of light into what the topic think, is what do you even think this whole fake life thing is all about like from your point of view yeah if you hear mr a that would be fake life. <laughs> <laughs> what comes to your mind? Yeah. So I just I think that it's just the way our society is mm -hmm. now. Everyone wants to be out there. And now you know we're now in a generation whereby social media is all of it. Like right now we even have our mothers, our fathers on social media. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be out there. Everybody's a content creator. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you bringing to the table? You cannot be bringing anything less than yeah. the norms. Definitely. You know what is happening. Mm -hmm. You see some people even have to borrow cars just just to show that you know they are there mm -hmm. and all that. <laughs> do, you, do you know why I particularly like what you said? Because she started with saying that it's you know the society we are in, which yeah. is mm -hmm. the key she, factor. It's mm -hmm. because she of where we are. I the nail on the head. <laughs> if you there's no you beat around the bush then yeah. you know that this it's faking it till you make it. It's mm -hmm. not just an individual thing. It's a yeah. side talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she just she went straight into the matter. Like she was not even wasting time mm -hmm. because this whole fake life is how you represent yourself. Yeah. yeah. Who are you and what are you putting out there? Mm -hmm. And with social media, like mm -hmm. Uncle Mark, and so we can really made us mm -hmm. believe mm -hmm. of the image we mm -hmm. put ourselves out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somehow it transcends just individuals. Because mm -hmm. I remember when Instagram first came out, it was all about posting cute pictures about us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and what you are this eating friend, this yeah. restaurant mm -hmm. i'm here <laughs> this um ex formally pizza is like oh what's going on this is my current status mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now it feels like if you're not living a picture perfect life mm -hmm. there's a standard that you are putting there is already right mm -hmm. standard that everybody has set for themselves and we are living in nigeria which is we are i, yeah. know, I don't know about that but mm -hmm. i'm a part of the poor people in this country <laughs> 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 i was i was really, i'm scrolling i'm wondering where are these people seeing where, where are oh, they see this morning <laughs> but the only thing is that I actually there's a bit there's a bit of it that I actually don't let me say I don't mind. I understand mm -hmm. it a bit because again it's a striker problem. Mm -hmm. You to to gain something you have to give something, mm -hmm. right? So and people do that is because they're looking at a result at the end of the day. Yeah. They, they for we like we said our vendors for example, and they're looking at the fact that let me just hook this um mm. client. Mm -hmm. When she says that I'm actually not a bad 
distributor but you know a bad vendor she's mm -hmm. going to come back for more organically on her own mm -hmm. well this i can't be excuse to just you know just click bait a little bit let me just get mm -hmm. her into the pool so i actually understand it in a, in, in, to a certain extent but nobody wants to i don't think it's something that you should continue to do and you know keep on doing it just do what you need to do get mm -hmm. what you want to get get the results you want to get and then mm -hmm. dust it off i mean yeah. i think so, it can be excused in that way for me at mm -hmm. least yeah, yeah. yeah so i also think that um this fake it to you make it or this fake life mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. it also has its the positive side of it yeah i i recall watching some instagram reels where i'll see like a photographer trying to make something out of nothing he can be using sand mm -hmm. and maybe plastic bottles and stuff and trust me when he takes the picture when you see the after of what he was trying mm -hmm. to do it looks like something that he used like you know mm -hmm. very very expensive props when you see the pictures the pictures are so worthy it's just it's kind of a way to be innovative it's kind yeah. of just using mm -hmm. what you have around to mm -hmm. like make it and then if they don't even show us the process of how the picture was made yeah. we wouldn't even know we yeah. think oh more this is like one kind of very big you know photography stunts and all that mm -hmm. so i think it also has its positive, positive side, side yeah. yeah especially for brands mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i think i think as a brand manager you mm -hmm. can even shed more light on this right mm -hmm. if let's even use a case study mm -hmm. if you want to buy a bag or a pair of glasses where you're wearing glasses mm -hmm. pair of glasses right mm -hmm. and you go on instagram mm -hmm. and there are two vendors vendor a has a hundred k followers mm -hmm. and vendor b has let's say 200 up and coming or 900 mm -hmm. who would you who would you go with yeah. we have we have evolved right that mm -hmm. social media followers and social media likes mm -hmm. and that persona your personal brand yeah. that everybody's calling it that mm -hmm. it it goes ahead of you yeah. Mm -hmm. It creates that impression that I don't know about you, but I would, I would. Yeah, it definitely influences choice. Yeah, 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 it gives influences credibility. Influences. Yeah, that's the exact word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It gives credibility, mm -hmm. and you see brands applied across so many things. I'm talking, they are. If you want a food vendor now, mm -hmm. you want to take pictures of the food, you see five turkey. Mm -hmm. You see giant, giant food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a victim of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> food, because I'm a foodie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you go to your page and I'm seeing giant. Mm -hmm. That's then when you order it. See food or food now. Yes. When I get, when he gets to my house mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. where is the fish? Yeah, looking for it. He gets to a point where, when mm -hmm. when when is he lying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. is it padding? Because that's what that's what a lot of these people yeah. say now. Yeah. We are padding ourselves, we're trying to project mm -hmm. manifest. <laughs> that's no, that's yeah. literally I think that that's where their future. The line is drawn, right? Because mm -hmm. where, where where does it actually become that thing where you're just saying that I'm I'm trying to get to a particular point, you know, when I get there, I know mm -hmm. that I'm just going to now it's going to be a bit more transparency, mm -hmm. maybe bit, bit, bit more this, bit more that, but it, it, Again, I still feel like it's back to an Nigerian culture mentality that people just be like, "Hey, well, I mean, it's it's, it's not bad. Now it's not too bad that I'm just I'm here, I'm there." Because that person that I'm just trying to put out there, everybody, everybody wants to have it. Let me give you an example. Thank you, our CEO. It's our CEO's birthday. I'm lost. I'm lost. You guys, sorry for it. For it. Is that we know? No, no, no. 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 No, no, no exactly mm -hmm. lawyers of labor mm -hmm. this is not a one-on operation mm -hmm. this is you know the ceo yeah such so at least Yes. From that or even if you have <laughs> or even if you have like a complaint or something maybe you order something and you don't like it so not be like oh our customer care will reach out yeah, to you it's still the same person it's still the same person you know yeah. but it's just a way to like elevate the brand yeah, to make I the mean. brand look like because at the end of the day you, that you, you can't packaging really matters matters, <laughs> matters because you can't mm -hmm. really I don't know if it's, it's a bit harsh to say honestly doesn't sell the game in Nigeria mm -hmm. I don't know if it's harsh right to say word. yeah that's not but the right word but it's like it's like 
how 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 honest and how down to earth can i actually be to get my target audience who mm -hmm. have been who have been um kind of structured to mm -hmm. want to go for what they think of a view is the better option mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. it's 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 kind of just them um conforming to what's already on ground and the, and the structures have been set in place already but i think for me the takeout should just be that there should be that that line and there should be that um integrity that you'd have to say okay even if i know that i at the beginning these followers that i put in my pages it's just no, yeah. i bought it too yeah by the time yeah. you have and your organic ones yeah you buy come back to buy them a lot so yeah. and you have what, the longer you keep it the more it shows yeah right and i'm seeing 20 20 people are doing yeah it's yeah it's yeah clear. it's clear but i want to ask i want mm -hmm. to ask the person out of three or two the experts right mm -hmm. how can brands keep themselves behind that line because we've established that there's a fine line between yeah. packaging mm -hmm. and then lying to your best yeah. report mm -hmm. and just get a line mm -hmm. like false advertisements and all of that how can brands ensure that they are still within that safely be, be behind that line like what, what do you think you can tell okay so i'm going to say that I don't think it's bad that you start up mm -hmm. building up your page, especially knowing how there are so many competitions yeah. on Instagram, mm -hmm. right? And understanding your target audience, understanding how these people think, mm -hmm. right? A normal Nigerian will feel like, oh, a page that has less than 100, key, um, 100 um, followers, yeah. rather. Uh, that means trusted, you, are new, you can't yeah. be trusted. It's I need cool. to see reviews. Mm -hmm. I need to mm -hmm. see all of that. So yeah, brands can actually tap into this fake it to you, make it. Mm -hmm. However, it is not safe to stick to that. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, you should also, also work yeah, on exactly. improving your brand. Exactly. All the reviews you're Amazing. getting if you get 10 reviews today ensure that you're posting your 10 reviews exactly. consistency keep on building the brand mm -hmm. until i mean it's most of all these brands that we see today that have like over 200k followers and all of that they probably started that way yeah they didn't work yes. yeah yeah but especially in covid year a lot a lot of people were buying followers because almost everything was happening online yeah. right <laughs> so i know for a fact i have friends and all that they engage i mean people that were in the business of selling followers they made a lot of money in that year 2020 i can mm -hmm. say that for a fact yeah, and i think that even as a personal brand the fake it to you make it thin actually help some people mm -hmm. i'm going to use like a case study i'm not going to mention the celebrity yeah. but you remember that time that sometime in 2019 there was a celebrity that was posing that you know she was the owner of a particular house you know just for her social media um her social media yeah. followers and all of a sudden the real owner of the house came out and was dragging her and even arrested her it was so embarrassing yeah at the long run she apologized and you know people stay pitying her and that was how she you know she blew up. right now yeah. she actually has her own house mm -hmm. you know even posted documents <laughs> to her. I mean, yeah. this was 2019, about you know, five years ago, and now whatever she was faking then has actually made her made it. Or how they put it, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's not entirely bad. You just have to know how to, you know, work for it and make sure you don't end up in trouble. It's not something you do for long, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Very very important. Mm -hmm. But actually, I like to you know pick your brain mm. more because we have some questions that we got online okay from just just looking online and just trying to find out about <laughs> no, thinking no, about no. this thing okay. just right? okay because okay. the way first is mm -hmm. our viewers can send in their messages to okay. our dm mm -hmm. they can comment and we'll gather these messages together okay and then we'll ask our guests ask ourselves you know just give them a couple of advice yeah, yeah we can think of okay but before while she's putting up those questions i want to just thank you because you said two very very important things mm -hmm. right and one of them was backing up what you are doing yeah. with hard work yeah and just be telling us that mm -hmm. i am the best something yeah. like this in yeah. the world. and they are not putting in the hours mm -hmm. because reality is going to catch up with you exactly. yeah if i eventually going to want to see evidence right yeah show you're working mm -hmm. and when the time comes and you can't do anything that is actually when you are fraud mm -hmm. yeah when you are sitting in your your room and doing your little charade mm -hmm. right that's that's still okay mm -hmm. but when it's time for you to come and 
show your workings mm -hmm. and you have nothing to show for it that's when the problem is yeah. yeah and even for the vendors as well when you get that traction you get those customers mm. what are you delivering to them yeah. are they going to want to come, come back? back yeah right those are the things that are very important because your review on your page especially mm -hmm. if you're a vendor on instagram it actually really really matters yeah mm -hmm. thank you yeah. <laughs> so let's take our first question from the chief executive office um sofa tester mm -hmm. dear brand therapist well, please let's put that out <laughs> dear curiosity podcast i recently launched a new line of premium organic toothpicks mm -hmm. the problem is my only customer is my roommate and i think he's just being polite should i hire a celebrity chef to endorse them as the perfect post meal experience or should i just embrace my current customer base and look for the best please help your friendly neighborhood couch potato okay so i think i'm gonna move that to any <laughs> <laughs> i mean i wouldn't know i wouldn't know how to answer this kind of question yeah. honestly <laughs> no, but i was like well, let me thank you <laughs> i thank you mr Akasu, for that very important question i want to first point out that mm -hmm. There's something he said there that is very, very in tune with what I'm talking about today. Mm -hmm. He wants to get his celebrity chef. He has not first established the customer base. Okay. Well, let's yeah, the customer base, right? Because mm -hmm. he has he has established it. <laughs> <His roommate. laughs> right. so he wants to get a celebrity chef yeah. that will endorse it and that will say that this is you know the perfect, perfect like, post meal. What, what is the work he has done hmm. yeah. to show that it truly is truly is the perfect way to remove <laughs> and i think i think when i saw this question initially because yeah i've seen the question before when i saw this question mm. i had to think i had to think that are they in organic toothpicks right because <laughs> <laughs> right now, because the wooden toothpicks yeah. are used. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe now we can have the plastic thing, yes. but like the now, towel floss and all that. Yeah, it's the wooden one we have. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to advise this guy to go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. this is the real advice. Mm -hmm. Go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and ask yourself: Is there really a problem I am solving mm -hmm. with this organic toothpaste? Right. Yeah. And then when you answer that question, that that answer is going to lead you to who is actually your consumer base. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you for free, it is not your roommate. Right. <laughs> First of all, you have to understand we are doing business. It's not for your immediate family. It's not for mm -hmm. your friends. It's yeah. for people out there. Mm -hmm. Remove that your roommate and actually identify who these users are. Yeah. And then you can move from there. Like once you can identify them, mm -hmm. you know how to sell them. You may not even need a celebrity chef. But do so why does they even need a celebrity chef when? Why is he not thinking of using like a dentist? Do you know or exactly? Something? And that's what came to my mind. I feel like right the fact that his mind immediately went to celebrity chef to endorse it just for that shows the way our mind our sight is set. Like someone who can put episode, it out. Mm. A whole episode just to break yeah. down like because where who is he trying to target mm. what type no of that's brand? the thing we've established that he, like, he's not thinking about that that's the like thing he's, he's thinking he's about putting it out there mm. in the exactly mm. because he's that to him is what will sell item. Mm. Like you get. he's not thinking about that he doesn't care sorry sir because <laughs> i can't put it to him but he's not thinking about that he's just thinking about what would sell nigerians would like anyone that like would like a like person who is bringing yeah. this and they would love mm -hmm. to get this because of that person and mm -hmm. i think that just goes back like any has said you have to go back to your drawing board but the fact that you're even thinking that way mm -hmm. i mean we can't you can, we can't fault you you're just a basic nigerian the average nigerian i'm sorry <laughs> an average nigerian like i am i am <laughs> as well <laughs> exactly like that's the only question yeah answer, because that's such a loaded question yeah like I said, a lot of questions are just exactly like that, this as well. our questionnaire right mm. in the future i hope we'll have time to actually talk about how to target um your audience yeah. mm -hmm. create mm -hmm. marketing campaigns and yeah. so many other things to distill under that question but this is all we have for now yeah and because our very very important guest has other important appearances to make we can't go with <laughs> it. We can't have have now. Yeah. <laughs> so we just have to let her go and hopefully we have a back one day definitely yeah definitely on this seat yeah, of yeah. course yes yes, yourself, course. Right? yes this was very yeah, interesting yes, yes. so yeah. don't forget to follow us on all social media mm -hmm. on spotify on youtube on instagram facebook you know p.o box <laughs> pg <laughs> follow us everywhere 
Yeah. Like, this anime is on the screen. And don't forget to keep on dropping questions, co Just like questions, Fancy. opinions, ideas, and anything else you want us to, you know, uncover and discover together. Mm -hmm. In count of three, let's all sign out. So one, two, three. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>